Hello everyone, it's Lauren here and I'm back today to share with you a layout that I've created as part of the Pink Fresh Studio design team and I'm excited to share this with you because I've challenged myself. All these beautiful frames, I see frame layouts everywhere and I've decided to jump in and give it a go. So I've got this wonderful photo of my family that we did like a bit of a selfie thing before a trip and we're all wearing these lovely tones that perfectly match some of the colors in the Days of Splendor collection. So I knew that I had the right photo there. So firstly, I began by fussy cutting out of the frame sheet, the purple, the greens, the grays, tones of all the little frames. Now I fussy cut those colors out of the 12 by 12 sheet as well as the six by eight sheet. And so I had a variety of sizes to play around with. I then using the six by eight paper pad, um, pulled out this gorgeous little piece of paper that already had a frame printed on it and it was lovely because it perfect a six by four photo just slotted in there perfectly well this one did and it um, had that nice surround and it all it gave me the the ability not to have to double mount my photo which is often that you see Often on my, my layouts, I do a double or a triple mount. So I've, that's what I've done there. And I've used some foam tape just to lift that off a little so I could start positioning around all these lovely, delightful frames. Now, when I'm doing this, I'm thinking about the colors. I don't want to put all the one type of color in the one section. So I'm just playing around trying to balance the colors and the shapes either side of the photo just to sort of get it to even out and sort of just look like a it sort of blends into the background a little bit. How beautiful is this background paper? This background paper is that gorgeous a bit of an ombre going on there from the darker to the light. So I knew that if I put my photo on the darker section, it would really help sort of bring that photo out, especially when I'm going to be doing lots and lots of embellishing of these tiny little frames. The titles that you see there, they are from a pattern piece in the collection as well. This pattern piece is called Grateful Heart and it is a, it's it's a page full of beautiful sentiments and I knew when I saw those that I would be able to cut those three out and it would still look like a beautiful embellishment without, um, you know, looking messy or anything like that. So I grabbed those three out there that really resonated with me and this photo and I had, I've now got three titles on my layout so I'm, you know, going over, over the top. <laughs> But they were all lovely words and by positioning in that bit of a triangle effect there, it has also done a second job of um, sort of another wrapping around that photo and drawing your eye into the center of that photo. So just using some wet glue, I'm just adhering everything down. I'm not, I'm not worrying about anything too much in things don't need to be in the exact position. I'm just really mindful of keeping things straight because these frames are really, well, firstly, the fact that I've mounted the photo in that really square looking frames are often really square looking. I just wanted to keep everything really as straight and across that center section as I could. I didn't want any of the square frames to be higgledy-piggledy because I think that would look a, make it look a little bit messy. But as, you know, these frames are overlapping each other, they're cuddling each other, and that's that's just how I roll. I love lots of layers and I love sort of building things upon things. Now this is the fun bit. I've built my foundation that you see there and now the fun bit is where I get to look through all the coordinating embellishments and start bringing all those little frames to life. And the beautiful thing about working in frames is that and and you keeping to a certain color palette is that you just end up focusing on each individual little space as opposed to trying to focus on the entirety of the layout so just when you're seeing your frame and you see a little embellishment you go oh I know that that's the one for that frame there and oh that's perfect for that that frame there so it's lots of fun and I have used um, out of the embellishments I've used the cardstock stickers I have used the puffy stickers as you can see there I've also used some enamel dots and I have 
piece together some of the gorgeous fabric bows that are available in this collection as well. So this is just the fun part now and this is the joy of scrapbooking isn't it? It's really not about making complex crazy layouts it's about just delighting in a family moment or a treasured moment or something that you've seen out in you know like you might have photographed a landscape and that landscape really took your breath away it's really just about delighting in our memories and so creating really quick and easy layouts even though the fussy cutting did take me a little bit of time that's why I did that off camera um is 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 the joy of scrapbooking as well so often you'll see me I really love mixed media and I have to admit you'll see me in a second I just have to have a little droplet of mixed media on my layouts but overall it was just lovely just to play with all the embellishments and the paper and not having to wait for things to dry and doing adding extra layers of embellishment so this really what I've I've called traditional scrapbooking um, really has my heart at the moment as well so yeah now as you can see these embellishments have a real fall themed and these beautiful color tones have a real well I, in Australia we call it autumn um, so finding photos that are those themes can sometimes when you're buying a new collection you can actually um, have a purpose in going out and taking photos that particularly match a collection and I find that's a fun thing to do as well. So here I am just adding some little bows. I'd already pre-put these together. Um, sometimes when I'm watching a movie I'll put the bows together or I'll put other embellishments together. So I had these few which were really perfect because they were in the colour tones that I was using as well. So once again I like working in three so I had three beautiful bows there and I'm just fiddling around now trying to work out where it's going to sit and where it's not going to take or where I'm thinking about my journaling will go and things along those lines. So has this layout inspired you to do a frame layout? There's so many talented scrapbookers out there doing like create well coming up with creative ways to really bring frames to life on your layouts and this is not something that I usually go to but just lately I seem to be seeing them a lot on social media and on Pinterest and I just thought I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a go especially when how perfect are these frames in that whole pattern piece um, by Pink Fresh Studio so if you haven't heard of Pink Fresh Studio the link is in the description below. Please check them out. They are a beautiful, high quality scrapbooking company who also specialize in stamping and card making as well. And you, the collections have a really clean, lovely, high quality um, feel about them and they're just really easy to scrapbook with so if scrapbooking is something that you're really interested in and you've stumbled across my video then please click the link below check it out and I'm sure you will fall in love with it here I am just thinking about um, my mixed media as you saw I just quickly grabbed my liquid text white acrylic paint there well not acrylic paint acrylic ink there um, but first I thought I'm going to put a few enamel dots on there just to create another little contrasting effect and another way of bringing a different texture and sort of bringing the layout to life there as well and then I'm going to come in with some droplets so if you're new to my channel it's a big welcome uh, thank you for stopping by um, please if you like my style give me a thumbs up and share my video with your friends it really helps my channel and of course if you be consider becoming a, a subscriber I would love that also so yeah I hope you like this layout here I am I'm going to come in with some droplets of white ink just to tick my mixed media box and my layout is all done so enjoy the close-ups at the end of this little video and I'll be back again really really soon with a new layout for Pink Fresh Studio and I'm hoping to probably dabble in some project life videos um, on my channel as well so stay tuned for that and um, happy scrapping take care bye